Hello oh friends, welcome back to our video lecture series on course title Fluid Mechanics 2. In this lecture, we will continue with our topic centrifugal pumps and we will be discussing specific speed of the centrifugal pump. Uh, while discussing the turbine, we have discussed this term uh, specific speed in detail. So, if you want to uh, learn more about the specific speed, then you can refer that video uh, which I have already uploaded regarding the specific speed where it is used. So, in short, it is used to compare the uh, performance of different pumps. In case of uh, turbines, we have used the specific speed term to compare different turbines like say a Francis turbine, Pelton turbine, both are working under the different conditions. So, whenever you are going to compare the performance of those two turbines, of course, it will be quite difficult to compare the performance of the turbines uh, directly. But uh, by using the specific speed, you can easily compare the performance of those uh, turbines so similar to that we can use uh, the specific speed term uh, in case of centrifugal pump as well for the comparing the performance of different pumps so similar to our previous definition it is the speed uh, of the centrifugal pump of the geometrically similar pump which would deliver unit quantity of liquid that is one meter cube per second of the liquid one cubic meter liquid per second 1 meter cube per second of the liquid when it is working against the unit head that is when your head is 1 meter so against which my pump is working so manometric head is equal to 1 meter so when my manometric head is 1 meter that means that when my pump is working against the manometric head of 1 meter and if my discharge is 1 meter cube per second then whatever the speed of the pump is known as specific speed of that centrifugal pump so it is the speed of that geometrically similar pump so we will be um, uh, making a geometrical similar model of the pump so uh, which going to work under the unit head uh, sorry not under the unit head against uh, unit head and going to deliver one meter cube per second of liquid that is with the rate of 1 meter cube per second so according to the definition we need to find out the relationship so if you want to calculate this specific speed you want to find the expression for the specific speed that is ns according to definition we should have a relationship between four variables those are the first one discharge because when our discharge is 1 meter cube per second and when my manometric head is 1 meter then speed of the pump is known as specific speed so we need to find the relationship between those three variables with respect to this n s so we will be finding the expression for this specific speed so let's start with the ultimate output what we are getting from the centrifugal pump that is discharge uh, which is given by the expression area into velocity so what i can say that my this discharge will be uh, directly proportional to those parameters uh, area multiplied by velocity here it is the area it is the velocity now if you see here this pi is constant so and my discharge will be directly proportional to the d b and velocity of flow where d and b are the diameter and width of the pump impeller respectively but this is not the expression what we want we want the expression in terms of q h m and n and that should be written in terms of n s so we need to replace those uh, values d b and v f so we will be finding the different expression for those d b and uh, v f so we can easily calculate uh, easily get our expression so uh, this is our first expression that we have got here uh, q is directly proportional to the d b and v f now uh, if we see here my b width of the impeller will be directly proportional to the diameter so of course it will be depend on the diameter so i can say that my q is directly proportional to the d square multiplied by vf this would be our expression number two and we'll be putting the value of d and f vf here so we'll be getting this q either in terms of hm and n so let's start with the vf vf is given by the expression under root of twice of uh, g multiplied by hm manometric head so i can say here this 2g both are constant so i can say my vf will be directly proportional to the under root of hm or even you can uh, directly go for that expression that is uh, u is given by the expression speed ratio multiplied by under root of twice of g h m so i can directly say here my u is directly proportional because speed to ratio is constant twice of g again constant so my u is directly proportional to the under root of h m but this u is given by the expression u is equal to pi d n upon 60 and you can say here the pi and 60 both are again constant so my u will be directly proportional to the d n 
Now we have just uh, defined our use directly proportional to the under root of HM. So I can say that under root of HM is directly proportional to the DN. So I can find out the uh, expression for the D and that I can put it here. So my D is directly proportional to the under root of HM divided by N. Simply putting that value of uh, D here and also the value of V of here, what we are getting. Q is directly proportional to the d square vf. This was our expression number 2. And just simply putting the value of this uh, d, what we have derived previously, and vf. So, uh, under root of uh, hm divided by m whole square multiplied by under root of hm. So, uh, just uh, simplifying this expression, Q is directly proportional to the hm raised to 3 by 2 because this 2 plus 1 become 2, 2. The square square get cancelled. This under root, that is h raised to 1 by 2 hm raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by hm that what we are getting here that is 3 by 2 and just uh, q is directly proportional to the hm raised to 3 by 2 divided by n square and uh, if i write down this uh, relationship in the form of uh, equation then we can simply replace this proportionality sign with the constant k which is proportionality constant so what we are getting here q is equal to k multiplied by hm raised to 3 by 2 divided by n square and this is our expression number 3 now uh, why we have directly written down this equation because if you see here what we are getting q hm and n all are coming in the definition that my speed of a specific speed is the speed of the pump when my pump is working against the unit head and delivering unit discharge. So we have got the all uh, parameter what we want and that's why we have written that particular expression of the Q in the uh, equation form by right, uh, taking the proportionality constant K. Now we need to find this proportionality constant K. So we are going to use our definition that when my head is equal to 1 meter, my discharge is 1 meter cube per second. So when my head is equal to uh, HM, so this is not head, it's HM that is manometric head against which my pump is working and discharge is 1 meter cube per second. At that moment, what will the speed of the turbine is, uh, sorry, uh, speed of the pump is said to be a specific speed. Now simply putting those values in this particular expression, uh, we will be getting the value of K and what we are getting for the K, K is given by the expression, uh, equation, K is equal to N S square, that is specific speed square. Now putting this value of K in the equation number 3, what expression we are getting q is equal to n s square multiplied by hm raised to 3 by 2 divided by n square and i can write down this expression in the form of uh, in the term of uh, specific speed that is n s square is equal to uh, okay and this square has been wrongly placed here n s is equal to n under root of q divided by under root of hm raised to 3 by 2 because uh, when i am sending it on the uh, left hand side uh, by writing this expression in the form of ns so ns square is equal to q multiplied by n square divided by hm raised to 3 by 2 and when i am taking the uh, root on the both side what it will become this will become under root of q this square will get cancelled and this will become under root of hm raised to 3 by 2 so this is our uh, required expression that is ns is equal to n under root of q divided by under root of hm raised to 3 by 2. By using this expression, we can easily calculate specific speed of the centrifugal pump. Hope you understood this particular topic. Those are the references which I have used while preparing my presentation. Thank you for watching.